Okay, I call this the one-stop shop. Why would you go anywhere else AI tool? Eduate AI is a spot where you can get help with the planning for your classes or your course. You can have AI help with as regular routine class tasks, classroom tasks that you need to do as a teacher every day, or just to generate ideas for something maybe new and you hadn't thought of yet. So I'm actually going to launch my um, my account here and just give you a sense of the overview. So we have three areas. We have an assistant, we have a content generator, and then we have a community. So I will start by showing you the Eduate AI assistant. So this is where you can get some help, some AI help with those time consuming routine professional tasks that we all need to take care of every day, every week in our profession. So things like creating emails to send home, class announcements, maybe for a newsletter, creating sub plans. I know that takes forever for me to make a sub plan. IEP outlines, intervention lists, accommodations, etc. So all you have to do is go up to the grade, click on the one that is appropriate for you, and then click on what you'd like. So we have so I typed as my topic, we are beginning the book to kill a mockingbird this week. So I could go into a little more detail there, but I am going to have the AI generate a email. So this is in the email format because I selected email home, but I could also decide that this is just a class announcement, send it out in a newsletter. Um, it will keep it over in the workspace with editable content. So the usual word processing type edit options, um, as you probably are all familiar with, you can change the font, size, color, style. Um, so this is where the teaching assistant will deposit the work. I also like that in the productivity, there are templates, there are source lists, there's an anchor chart to help you explain topics to students. There's a list wellness. You could do an SEL activity, mindfulness activity, icebreaker. You could do a mindfulness activity. And then if you keep the topic of to kill a mockingbird, and click add to workspace, it is now going to use passages from To Kill a Mockingbird in this mindfulness activity. So I just think that is so exciting. Um, now let's take the theme or the, the topic of To Kill a Mockingbird and let's move over to the content generator. So the content generator is where you will create unique materials for your class based on your topic, your grade and anything specific that you're hoping to accomplish. We're going to start off by selecting the subject. So in this case, I'm going to select language arts and it is already pointed at middle school. That is the level, the level I teach. And then you have some choices. You can look at an assignment generator, question generator, or general. So for the read, for the assignment generator, we have some options. We have reading comprehension, team activities, essay review, essay outline. I really like that it can do this for me instantaneously because I often find that after assigning something for reading or giving a chapter for homework, I'm going back to the drawing board to create you know, meaningful questions to um, determine the comprehension of the text. So reading comprehension, generate an informative text with reading comprehension questions. So what I could do is go ahead and put in, we are reading To Kill a Mockingbird and actually I'm going to be very specific, specific, I'm going to say chapter two. And then I'm going to click add to workspace. Now it's going to add the resource here. And it looks like we are talking about the understanding of setting. The class is going to dive into chapter two of Kill a Mockingboard. And it is important to understand the setting. It describes what setting is. It describes the town in fictional town in Alabama, etc. So this is a reading comprehensive guide. And at the end, it is going to generate the questions for me. So what is the setting? How does the setting affect the plot and characters, etc. Now, everything that I've generated so far is over in the workspace and the workspace. I can name the workspace to kill a mockingbird. 
However, I am unable to save any of this inside this app or inside this tool itself because I do not have a paid version. So what I would do is just copy and paste this into a Google Doc or a Google Form or however I would like to share this information with students. So the next section would be questions. I can generate specific questions about this chapter. And the nice thing is every time I assign a new chapter, I can generate new questions or I can generate discussion prompts, vocabulary words, extension questions. So it doesn't have to always be five comprehension questions at the end of every chapter. And then finally, just to show you quickly, there are some interesting extension options generate poems, book summaries, skits. I really liked this one for To Kill a Mockingbird. So I'm gonna actually assign the kids a skit. They're gonna produce a short play on chapter two of To Kill a Mockingbird. And it's going to create this lesson plan for me. It's going to assign the different characters. It's gonna assign the scene and these. this is the dialogue. So then I will assign this to small groups and they will act out the scenes from chapter two. These are specific scenes that came directly from the book. I didn't have to be specific because it is already directed to this particular topic or keyword. So finally, there is a community as well. This is coming where you can share ideas and collaborate with others. This is a relatively new tool, so they're building this feature. And then again, if I have this paid version, I can come down to my saved content and everything that I have would be here. However, until I log out, all of the work that I have generated will be in the workspace. So this is incredible. You could do this for you know, the start of a class. You could do this if you um, wanna plan out your lessons for the week. And again, copy paste this into another um, AI tool. And I will be doing some app smashing later on in the series. So you can see how I could take some of this information or some of these resources and paste them into another app that we're looking at and have a, either a Google Form quiz generated instantaneously, have a infographic generated instantly, or even a narrated version of chapter two and the skit that the kids have created. So, so many exciting possibilities with this particular app. I really hope you enjoy it and I hope you give it a try with your content your grade level and the need that you find most pressing right now in your class. Good luck. <laughs>